So what are you doing here today? We're here to support Frank. I'm here for Hugs for Frank. Uh, Frank was fired unjustly. We're only here really to support... Uh, God, I've got Bernie on my mind. I can't think. <laughs> We're only here right. to support Frank. Right. And Frank, you know, he has such a good attitude. He said, I don't want anybody to do anything that is negative toward Walmart. That's the kind of guy he is. But I hope Walmart is going to notice that you know, there's an awful lot of support for, for Frank. And, and for Frank's, what Frank brought to Walmart, he was one of the few things that was positive about going to this store here. Okay, so what are you doing here? Uh, well, I just want to kind of show my support for Frank. I mean, Frank kind of embodies all those things that unite us in humanity that we don't get to see a lot. I just want to express my support for somebody who's just been kind their whole lives. I, I can't think of one instance where Frank hasn't been a kind person. Uh, I can remember when uh, we had the small Walmart that was actually where Route 21 is. And uh, I can remember being a little kid and he was a greeter. And I remember hugging him and his kindness. So, I mean, if more people could just be like that, I think the world would be a better place. Well, I'm here to support So, you think Frank could make a good president? Excellent. And you're both the organizers of this whole event, then? Yes, sir. So, how did this start for you? Um, we seen on Facebook that Frank had lost his job, and we just wanted to kind of do something to show our support, so we organized an event to show him that we care about him as a community. I work for Making Change at Walmart. It's an organization based in D.C. Um, it's, it focuses on labor rights. We work with a larger labor union, United Food and Commercial Workers. Um, we heard about Frank's story all the way from D.C. Hi, so you're Frank's brother and sister, right? Yes, Correct. we are. I, uh, my brother released a statement on my Facebook page the other day uh, asking people to show uh, sympathy for the employees of Walmart and specifically to Trent Cochran and his family. Um, he wishes them nothing but the best. Um, and that's just my brother. I mean, some people would hold a grudge against Walmart. Uh, it's been rumored, I haven't confirmed it with Frank, that he actually, a couple days after he was fired, was actually in the store shopping. He was, he, he was, I can confirm that, because he's been shopping already. He doesn't want friends of his, he doesn't want good, the good people that still work at this Walmart to lose their jobs or their hours because people are coming to Walmart. People need to make that decision for themselves if they choose to take their business elsewhere, but Frank doesn't want that. He always made our day better, gave us hugs. So you've seen Frank and you know him? Oh, yes, every time you go in Walmart, you see him. He's there a lot, and I don't think he's missed a day in his life. So what do you hope Walmart would do? I hope they take him back for one thing, although maybe he'll get a better job someplace else as a result of all this. I think Walmart needs to be punished for what they did. What kind of punishment is that? Whether it be legal or through the American Disabilities Act, that's not my choice to say. Um, so Walmart, like you all are seeing, um, and as you all know, comes into towns, oftentimes wrecks local communities, um, can also bring a lot of value to the communities if they treat their employees well. Um, and sadly, we see hundreds of stories just like Frank's. Well, I'd like to see Walmart be accountable, you know. There was a time when they stood for the people, when they said it was the customer first, and then the originator of the company died, and it's been downhill since then. Prices have gone up, benefits to employees have gone down, they're treating their customers worse and worse all the time. Um, it's all about making money for them. So what, what is some first initial steps to make Walmart better? Yeah, um, so I think what I like and a little bit of the magic about this event is that it came from the community up. Um, so you, you get the customers involved, you get the person involved, the workers, you rally around, you get asks. So if West Plains wanted to say, Walmart, you should hire Frank back, you could start a petition, sign it, um, present that to the local Walmart, the managers, present that to Bentonville headquarters where Walmart's based. Um, so really put pressure on them and also have these stories released into the news. He used to give my wife a hug all the time and I thought that's great. <laughs>
Well, as far as the hugs go, he was reprimanded a year ago for it and he stopped doing it and he told everybody I can't give hugs because they won't let me. So we started saying, well, can we hug you? And he said, absolutely. So he never got reprimanded for giving hugs anymore. And he still, that was still one of the reasons cited in his termination. Well, I really think that Walmart owes him an apology. I think that they really could have conducted themselves in a better way. Um, the, the things that they said really just weren't true and they weren't appropriate. Um, Frank wouldn't steal anything. Um, you know, he didn't leave, he didn't allow people to leave the store with merchandise. Um, he's obviously impacted lives. I mean, you can see by the crowd here how many he's impacted. To say that he's not touched lives would be crazy. So, I mean, I think they owe him an apology, and I think that they should issue a formal statement, statement to do that. What about you personally? Are you going to shop here still? Um, not like I did before. I can't promise that I'll never shop there again, but I'm a person that usually visits three to five times a week, and I live, you know, just down the road, so it's very easy to come here. I've made every effort not to go there this week. And I know that Frank doesn't want people to not shop at Walmart, but I really feel like I can't support somebody that would do somebody so wrong. I mean, if somebody did something to a family member of yours, you probably wouldn't express support to them. That's how I feel. He's like family. But bottom line is, is we'd all like to boycott Walmart. I try not to go there any more than I absolutely have to. But Frank was the best part of it. There's not a, indeed. <laughs> but there's, you know, there's times when you don't have any choice because there's nothing else here, or they are cheaper in some areas. And you know, people have to save a dollar. This is a poor community. What do you think about what people should do about Walmart? Well, Walmart will always be there, but we need to shake this off and go back to shopping if we have to and stuff like that. So, so no boycott? No boycott. No, the employees can, like family too here at this Walmart, so no anything happen to them. So, thanks, Frank. I'll have a thanks, Frank. So, what do you hope happens from this? Well, I think we just hope that Frank understands how much he means to people. I mean, a lot of times throughout life we're all looking for purpose and we can't kind of feel empty, but it seems like he's touched so many lives that he has created purpose within his existence, so that's pretty awesome. Well, I just start with, the, I've always said is, you know, most people have to die to see what their legacy is and the impact they've had on their community. And our brother Frank, 52 years old, gets to see it. Uh, right before his eyes and it's humbling to his family Very to see so. the support that he's had um, just for being such a great guy you know he's what when you see Frank this is what you see is what you get